final day of the 2017 RC44 Soto Grande Cup provided teams with one last chance to recover lost ground. You know, we've come here with with expectations to keep it improving each day and that's what we want to keep on doing. For sure for the last race we will uh, have a look at the points and see if we can do something to help then but for the first two races for sure we just need to sail as we normally do and, and let the points take care of themselves. Soto Grande laid on superb conditions with 20 knot winds, flat water and brilliant sunshine and there was fierce racing between the teams. The technical problem on Chris Bake's team Acre in the penultimate race allowed John Bassadoni's Peninsula Petroleum to pull into the lead going into the final race. But the team Acre crew fought back to secure the opening event of the RC44 Championship by three points. We came down the wave, the gust hit, and we just buried the nose. I had I was underwater at the back of the boat, so you can imagine how deep the front of the boat was, was deep and the spinnaker pole broke and uh, that was it. So we then had to jury rig the spinnaker up to the front of the boat. We lost that race and then we were able to put on the spare pole, which is uh, a great amount of good crew work in the time limit that we were allowed to change and run the regatta on the last race. I think at the last leg of the last race basically was between us and Peninsula. Um, it was very close. Peninsula Petroleum, Bredonosec Sailing Team and Team Nika finished the event within three points of each other. Nico Poons' charisma was joint scoring boat of the day with Peninsula Petroleum. It was a very fun regatta. It, was a, 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 you know, it all went down to the wire. And only in the last race everything was decided. And uh, I'm happy. <laughs> The RC44 is now moving on to the idyllic sailing mecca of Portocervo in Sardinia, Italy, where battle resumes for the teams over the 29th of June to the 2nd of July.